are talking now about some of the food trends you might see in the new year with Andrea Graves, who is a business planning and marketing specialist here at the Food and Ag Products Center. Andrea, this is always neat to talk about some of the things we might see in the year ahead, and it's always a little different. What kind of things are you keeping track of for 2018? Well, there's lots of things uh, coming up for 2018. One of them is robotics, believe it or not. This is more for the larger companies, but you know, we all have employees that, you know, sometimes, you know, get sick, they call in or, you know, there's just not a, a, a big a range of people that can that want to come work at food for the food industry. So these factories are looking for more people or more things that will will help them with that so they don't have to worry about employees. So in terms of the actual food processing part of things, we'll see more automation and, and sophisticated robots doing that. Correct, correct, as well as drone delivery. We've been talking about dr drone delivery and that's also part of that kind of robotics uh, as well. So who knows, you might get, a, get something delivered to you here sometime soon. That was made by a robot, delivered by a drone. Possibly, yes, yes. In terms of consumers, what kind of things are they interested in and in trends in terms of food? Well, the consumers really have a demand now for simple, and that could mean a lot of different things. It could mean everything from like a mushroom, like from J&M Farms, you know, something that doesn't have a lot of ingredients, or it also could mean convenience or simplicity. As, uh, we've got organic syrup from Griffin's where they've taken out some of the ingredients as far as um, put in simple sugar instead of corn syrup and some other things. So they're wanting easy, they're wanting simple, but they want to be involved just a little bit in their food production. Okay. How do you think some of these trends that you've mentioned, and no doubt there will be a complete list that we can keep track of, but how do you think these will affect the food industry in Oklahoma specifically and some of the work that you and your team do here? Well, we always want to be on trend because we want them to sell more and, and be a little bit ahead, ahead of things. Um, I recommend anybody who's in the food industry to take a look at some of the industry magazines that, that are out there and you can often get free subscriptions and, and they're on the ball with it and, and FAPSI we try to put out things on social media and, and, and our publications as well so that uh, everybody can be in the loop and, and make sure they're not behind. And for average folks too who are interested in their food and paying more attention to those ingredients like you mentioned, they can engage with the, this content as well. Yes, yes. If they have questions that, that they don't have the answers to, they can contact us or, or also some of these publications as well. And seek out the facts. Definitely, definitely. Thanks a lot, Andrea. It's always great to hear about the, the trends that are coming in the year ahead and we wish you a happy new year. Well, thank you. You too. And for a complete list of the food trends that are coming in 2018, just go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.